Hello, this is Kevin from Mets Heuristics. Now in this video, I'll be discussing one of the PSLE 2021 math problems. And if you're a parent or a student viewing this before PSLE 2021 is over, and you feel that by viewing this video, it's going to affect your morale, please switch off this video now. If not, I'll begin in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Now the parameter of the shaded portion is 4cn more than that of the unshaded region. Find the length of AB and find the shaded area. So this is a student's account of PSLE 2021 question. Over here I added in a little footnote because I believe that all these lines must meet each other at right angles for the problem to be solved. For the problem to be solvable. Now, Most students are going to panic when they see a slanted length like this because they haven't learned how to find the slanted length of a triangle. They have not learned about Pythagoras theorem. So how can this be done? Let's first define what the parameter of both regions are first. Now for the shaded region, it will comprise of this slanted length, this vertical length, this horizontal length, this vertical, this horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical length. Right? Then for the unshaded triangle, for the unshaded triangle, its parameter comprises of this vertical length, this entire horizontal length, and this slanted length over here. Correct? So if you are to look at it carefully, where do these differences arise? We can compare their similarities and differences, and we can see that we have to draw out the model and compare the parameters. This would make a lot more sense. So for the shaded portion and the unshaded portion, what do they have in common? The first object you can see has to be this slanted length here. They have this in common. Right? Now, what about this horizontal length? If you are to push out these two lengths over here, you will be able to see that these three blue horizontal lengths add up to the same length as that of the horizontal length of the unshaded triangle. So the horizontal lengths have been accounted for. And finally, what about the vertical lengths? If we are to compare this portion, okay, you will see that this length, this length, and this length is what you have in common. These two edges must be the 4cm more. All right, so if that's the case, since these two lengths are equal, we can divide it by 2. So let me just represent what we have first huh? the unshaded vertical. 
And for the shaded portion, it comprises of the unshaded vertical length and two more lengths adding up to 4 cm. So each of these lengths here must be 2 cm. Alright, so we have 4 divided by 2 to give you 2. If this is 2 cm, this is 2 cm, and this entire height is 7 cm, this entire height here is 3 cm, this entire length here is 3 cm. The length of AB must be 7 plus 3 plus 3 minus 2 to give you 11 cm. Alright? Then what about part B? For part B, once you're able to obtain this, the height of this triangle, and you know that this is 8 cm, 4 cm, and 2 cm, we can first find out the entire length of this triangle first. This would simply be 8 plus 4 plus 2 to give you 14 cm. Okay? So once you have this in mind really. Once you have this idea in mind, you can find out the total area of the figure and subtract off the area of this triangle away from it. Okay, so we can break it down like this. Okay, this portion will be 13 times 8 plus the area of this portion. This portion will be 4 times 6 plus the area of this last little rectangle here. 3 times 2. Then we subtract off the area of this triangle. Which is going to be half times 14 times 11. So that will give us 57 cm squared. Alright? 